Before I get into this video, I've linked some of the sources which I used to get information about the history of Toontown Online. As the game was an insanely huge and has been closed for a while now, there's not a lot, whole lot to go off. Um, if I get anything wrong, just correct me in the comments below and I'll thank you later. Now anyway, on to the video. Since you have clicked on this video, I'm guessing you either used to play Toontown and are wondering what happened to it, or you never played the game and you're extremely bored. Either way, I wanted to make a video about this game because it is something which I played for a large part of my childhood. When I was around 5 years old, my parents saw the infamous Toontown trailer and thought that maybe I'd like to try the game out. If you're wondering what the trailer is, it's this one. Ever wondered what it would be like to live life as a Toon? Well, here's your chance. Jump online and straight into Toon Town, where the city limits are as wide as your imagination. Start by creating your own unique identity and turn yourself into the Toon you always wanted to be. Sweet. Did you recognize it? Anyway, I was glued to playing the game so much that my parents bought me the one year membership and that bad boy got renewed for many years. Around 2012 I stopped playing the game as they had completely stopped updating it just for me and in general I had played the game to death so I moved on. Lo and behold on the 19th of September 2013, a full 10 years after releasing, Disney's Toontown Online officially closed. But why? Well, that's what I'm going to get into in this video. Here's what happened to a great MMO, Disney's Toontown Online. Now, for the people who have no clue what I'm on about, you're probably sitting there thinking, what the f*** are you got? Sorry, what? Oh, this is for kids. You're probably sitting there thinking, what is he going on about? Well, Toontown Online was a popular MMO aimed at kids, but also played by many adults. In the cartoony world, you would take on the role of a colourful and oddly creepy animal, who with the help of others, would defend Toontown from the enemies in the game. These being cogs. Cogs were stylized to be the corporate robots who wanted to take over the town and turn it into a dull, sad and grey money maker. You seen a funny connection here? Business people are only interested in money? Disney shutting down a game that made people enjoy the focus on Club Penguin? Another MO which has also been trashed? Just seems like an odd choice of enemies if you ask me. They were sorted into four groups, the boss bots, law bots, cash bots and cell bots all named and based on specific businessmen stereotypes. As you progress in the game, they would slowly get harder, but overall, it was not really a hard game. As long as you didn't go soundless. If you went soundless, then you're in for a tough time. The speed chat was highly moderated, but people still found a way to abuse you for the most passive-aggressive ways possible. Toontown itself was split up into seven playgrounds named after iconic characters, four boss headquarters, and a racing track. You progress through the game, starting in Toontown Central, ordered by Mickey Mouse himself, and ending in Donald's Dreamland. As you went on, the game didn't get harder, it just became more of a grind. I got my first ever tune up to 100 line laugh, which is the health system, and I swear down it took multiple years. As a young kid, I didn't know all the efficient ways to grind the game. It must have taken me months to kill 250 double talkers for one single task. Outside of the task lines, which are the main focus, you can do other activities such as fishing, racing, trolley games, gardening and styling up your estate. As a whole, these can't keep you entertained for too long, but they can be fun from time to time. The final quick aspect of the game which I want to go over is actually battling the cogs themselves. In traditional battle, either on the street or in a cog building, you can battle with up to four people However, if you're doing one of the four boss battles, you can have up to eight tunes taking part. When you start out, you'll only have two gag tracks, these being throw and squirt. As you progress through the game, you can gain up to six full gag tracks. Each track is different from each other, and can be levelled up the more you use them. Toontown as a whole is a big grind and can really take a long time to complete. To fully max out your tune, you do need to do a lot, and I mean a lot. I'm talking thousands of hours worth of grinding, the same stuff over and over and over and over again. But hey, that is what most MMOs are based around. Well, there you go, there's a quick overview of the game and now you know basically what it is. It might not sound that fun, but trust me, 
If you played it when you were younger, you can't help but play it every now and then. How do you play it? I'll get into that after we look at why it closed down in the first place. In hindsight, it is clear that Toontown didn't have long left. There had been no major updates since 2008 when BossBot headquarters was added, and even then fixes were few and far between. On the 20th of August 2013, Disney announced that the game would be closing down. During the meantime they gave everyone membership for free, and cancelled any paid memberships that were due to renew. If you had an account, you'd be able to play but it was no longer possible to create a new one. During the last hour of the game, Toons gathered together for one last time as the game servers finally shut down. In June 2015, Jesse Shells, the mind behind Toontown, admitted that the business model of the game was not sustainable. Free-to-play mobile games were damaging online monthly subscription games like Toontown and they could no longer keep the game running. The game was potentially going to be brought to mobile, but overall, that also wasn't going to last either. On top of this, Disney Online themselves said that they wanted to redirect all their resources into Club Penguin. This decision also led to the closure of other games such as Pirates of the Caribbean Online. Recently, with Club Penguin also being binned, the fact that they shut down Toontown is even more annoying, but at the end of the day, they are Disney, and they are a business. They are now the cogs. So that is what happened to Toontown Online. The sudden closure was a shock to the entire community, but thanks to a few quick thinking fans, it is still possible to play the game. If you look around, you can find many Toontown based servers, but none of them compare to the most popular one. Toontown rewritten. If you want to play the game again, or maybe even try it for the first time, I would highly recommend this server. The TTR team make no money off running this server, they do it purely for the fans. On top of this, they also update the game from time to time, and every now and then they run special events. They have put a lot of work into the server, and it does show. Before I end off this video, I just wanted to say a quick thank you and give a shout out to two content creators who played Toontown uh, and I watched them when I was younger one of them being Mega Snoop who still streams and uploads today and one of them being the Random Toon Show who's, or Michael who sadly passed away last year um, I'll link to their channels in the description thanks for producing content for me to watch when I was younger bet you especially like the Random Toon Show's editing there he had a lot of skills Ever wondered what it would be like to live life as a toon? Imagine creating your own animated character. Exploring the ever-changing world of toons, causing classic cartoon mischief. And that's only the beginning. If you're wondering what it's truly like to live life in Toontown, well, here's your chance. It's not all seltzer and slapstick in Toontown. A band of corporate robo-cogs are trying to mess up all of the fun. How typical of someone in a suit. It's up to you and your friends to band together and take back Toontown. Anyway, thanks for watching. I have more videos on the way based on I don't really have a clue, but subscribe for more and leave a like. Comment below if you have played this game before or if you had never heard of it. Either way, I'll see you all next time.